A solo exploration turns up some spiritual company in this abandoned factory. Published by Spooky Gotham in January of 2022, this ghost hunter explored the Vatican's factory on his own. As Gotham stands outside, taking the place in, a window shutter swings open. Does this foretell paranormal activity yet to come? Once inside, he is explaining his investigation of this place when the spirits make themselves known. <laughs> As he continues on, he hears more strange sounds. Hello? And later steps on something. What does this mysterious claw belong to? While examining it, another banging resounds. And another louder noise is heard while in this enormous hangar. It seems like he's being followed. Super. Super, Baya. Thank you. Gotham then spies a shadow figure in a darkened window of one of the buildings. The figure walks past, barely discernible in the darkness. He later sees this figure or another up close. When he sets his camera down to go and check it out, something takes out its rage on the camera. Are these spirits camera shy, or are they sending him the message that it's time to leave? I'm gonna save a kid out of a trunk right now. He locked himself in. When a YouTuber named David Nugan hears noise coming from the trunk of a car, he discovers a young boy has accidentally locked themselves inside. It's a hot summer day and the kid needs to be rescued immediately, so David wastes no time breaking out a window and reaching inside. He scrambles to find a button that will pop the trunk. They are sure that the child is severely dehydrated and there is not a second to lose. Finally, the trunk unlocks and a scared child comes stumbling out. You can see his hair and shirt are drenched in sweat, and he is certainly not faking any of this, even though he appears to be alright for now. I still would have taken him for medical attention just to be safe. Let me know what you would have done next based on what you've seen. And thankfully, this man was nearby to save the day. Most bad guys see a security camera and think twice, but Jason Chekhov thinks that this one was attracted to his house specifically because of it, which he can get some money for if he can manage to get away. There's no doubt that he stops and looks directly at the camera at 9 seconds into the video. It's such an abrupt and dramatic turn that some people think the whole thing is fake and that this person whose face is fully covered is none other than Jason Chekhov himself trying to get some views. I would agree that this could be a possibility if not for the lengths of which the person is willing to go through to get inside. First, they put one arm under the other and try to wedge it open with force. Then they just try to open it the good old fashioned way and give the glass three solid elbows. Finally, they try to simply pinch and lift, painfully snapping back their fingernail from the sound of it. The point is, I really doubt Jason Chekhov would have risked messing up his windows or his fingers trying to break his way in, though I could be wrong. Lane is heading to Jamaica when a much smaller object zooms by at an equal rate of speed, if not faster. It's hard to tell what this fast moving sighting could possibly be, but I doubt it's another plane off in the distance, because air control makes sure that the planes always fly far away from each other, and usually at different altitudes. Whatever this is, if it had made contact with the plane while traveling at such a high rate of speed, I'm almost positive no one would have survived. Give me your best guess as to what you think this was. I will say that I have found other similar videos taken by YouTubers flying over Jamaica, so maybe there is something strange, mysterious, and unsolved about the airspace over that region in general. 
A couple of friends are driving around late at night, probably just to unwind for the day and have a good time with one another. During the drive, one of the guys in the car says that he thinks he saw some sort of animal, like a buck wandering around in the bushes right next to them. It almost seems like they are about to get out of the vehicle to take a closer look, but as you'll find out why in just a second, it's a good thing they didn't. Uh, I think I thought I seen a big buck or something. Wait, wait, stop right there. What is that? Is that a buck? What is that? Dude, that's oh not a God. What the heck? Look how big its arm span is. Like, arm, arm, upper torso, and then the middle part of its torso just looks so thin along with its legs. Like, it's just so built on just, like, the upper part of its body here. It's just super, super bizarre. Yeah, and its skin almost looked gray. One more time here. I've seen a big buck or something. Wait, wait, stop right there. What is that? Is it a buck? What is that? Dude, that's what a... Wait, wait, stop right there. What is that? Is it a buck? What is that? Dude, that's what a... Besides the obvious creature jumping in the woods that oddly resembles the urban legend The Rake, a lot of people in the comments are confused as to where the YouTube channel Paranormal News received this video because the channel is Russian owned, but as you can tell, the men in the video are very much so American. Regardless of who it was filmed by though, this is one creature you would never want to see. Even if it is fake, it would startle you, especially this late at night. Joe Pacini is obsessed with a singer named Sarah Bareilles and he believes their destiny is to be together forever. He makes a bizarre YouTube video ranting about how members of the occult, the CIA and the FBI are all working together to frame him and keep this romance from happening. Clearly, clearly these guys want me dead or in prison and there's no way I'm going back to prison. Nope. The video is hard to understand because of his disjointed rambling logic, but apparently there was some kind of incident at the local gym and now a police detective is calling Joe's number. Hello, my name is Matt Huffnell. I'm a detective with Haverford Township PD. I'm trying to reach Joe Pacini concerning an incident a report that was made at the LA Fitness here in Havertown. Joe, could you give me a call at your earliest convenience? This simple request sends Joe over the edge. Instead of calling the investigator back, Joe makes a series of YouTube videos threatening the investigator along with his entire department. You want to try to bring me down? I will kill you and your whole family, all right? So go ahead. Joe switches from calm and collected to yelling and screaming as he tells everyone to back off. He eventually calls the detective back and leaves a message telling him to check out his YouTube channel for more information. The police eventually find Joe driving around and immediately pull his vehicle over. According to their report, Joe backed his car into a cruiser and they took his life immediately. I was never able to find out what happened at the gym. So if you know why the police initially contacted him, then please let me know. These flats are supposed to be abandoned. So who is in this window? Posted to TikTok by Scared to Death Zero, this crew is looking around an abandoned encampment at night. When they see movement in one of the upper windows, zooming in there's no one there, but then they move their flashlight from the window and the figure again peeks out from behind a curtain. Many in the comments are completely freaked out. While well, some think it's a squatter, others are not so sure. They say it has no face. What is this thing? Would you try to find out? Rankin Fishing is at it again at the Indian River Inlet in North Beach, this time hoping to hook himself some blue fish. Never was he expecting this. He gets a hit on the line and is a little nervous to find. In his words, The freaking worst thing to catch. The arrangement of dark brown and black spots on its back immediately tells him this is a clear nose skate. Skates are similar to stingrays, except for a few differences I won't get too deep into. All that matters is they will defend themselves, however they can live another day. This one looks to be full grown so he has to be extra careful. It's not the tail he needs to watch out for, but rather the mouth. The clear nose skate has between 46 and 54 teeth on the top row and around the same number on the bottom. 
108 teeth total, small and blunt, packed closely together for dense crushing power like a vice. Its jaws can crack open, hard-shelled prey like clams and crabs with no problem. Your hand is no match. At 2 minutes and 56 seconds, the skate's bottom lip becomes lurched out and is perfectly aligned with the soft webbing between his index and thumb. The end result is something terrifying. There's a lot of red and yelling afterwards, and the only thing left to do after unhooking the creature is dip his hand into the salt water. Let's just say he's lucky the skate got this part of his hand as opposed to a finger, which would have come right off. He wonders out loud if something's going to happen to him later. I'm sorry, that hurts so much. I hope they don't have any sh like toxin. I did some research and found that skates, unlike stingrays, do not have any toxins, so he doesn't have that to worry about. But he should still probably go to the hospital, because it might have some nasty bacteria around its mouth that he wants nothing to do with. He later describes this encounter as the worst physical sensation any deep sea creature has ever inflicted on him in all his years. He has my sympathies, and I hope, for the sake of his hands, that nothing else from the ocean is ever able to do worse. Something in the woods is about to blow this cop's mind and his eardrums. He walks back with wide eyes and puts his flashlight away, completely done with the situation until backup arrives. But backup doesn't seem to do much better. I think this could be a recording because the scream sounds exactly the same both times. So maybe somebody put a really good speaker system in the woods, or maybe that's just what I'm choosing to believe because I don't want to accept that this is real. What secrets does this witch's cemetery hold? Dennis of YouTube channel Dark Ghost Paranormal is about to find out. He first comes across this disturbing shelter guarded by cow skulls. He hears something nearby. He says voices are heard here. What? 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 He sees a face in the structure. Camera вижу, а так смотрю, нету ничего. Будто бы чье-то лицо. Вот, два глаза. To me, this does look like a face, but it seems to be pareidolia. But later, he hears this through a paranormal device. Then he finds this unnerving collection of butterflies. His paranormal device again relays this strange sound while in the body's presence. And again, this scary whistling noise is heard. The noise grows even more terrifying. Thank you. 
I don't think Dennis should stay here any longer. The butterflies would have sent me over the edge, but that last sound is even more unnerving. A YouTuber named SPRT Life is going to investigate some train tracks that are rumored to be haunted by an inhuman creature. The tracks are reportedly hard to cross and very narrow. Numerous people are said to have been run over or fallen to their doom. They sneak past a fence and it isn't long before they hear strange noises from an unseen beast. They soon find a set of tracks elevated high off the ground. The bottom is pitch black and they can't even see how high up they are. One of them gets a little too bold and goes out a long distance. No, we're not out that far. No, if you look down, you're out that far, you'll die. Then, as if right on time, the worst equipment malfunction possible occurs. Oh my god. Alex, my light won't come back on. Suspended high above ground in total darkness, this YouTuber hears a train horn. There's a train coming. There's a train. Get your boots. Get your boots, Tyler. The group of friends now blindly races ahead, desperately trying not to fall off the tracks or get run over. Finally, with the track fast approaching, they are forced to jump. As you can see here, they barely make it out alive as the train passes overhead. Fortunately, they had cleared most of the track, and it was only about a 5 foot drop instead of 30. The only thing that saved them that night was their own speed. As for what caused their flashlights to turn off, the group has little doubt that it was the very same creature that the legend spoke of. This haunted mansion isn't a Disney theme park ride, it's the real deal. On the Chills Narrator subreddit, Be More Talk submitted this freaky video in July of 2019 writing, this video was made while it was 115 degrees out, and I say this because while we were filming, we noticed that someone was in the top floor of this 42-room mansion that was built in the 1800s. The Uplands Mansion appears to be rather decrepit and is buried in nature. Lots of trees around and ivy growing up the mansion walls, perfect scene for a ghost sighting. The video navigates the overgrown shrubbery surrounding the exterior of the mansion, some of which is covered with graffiti. At one point, as the YouTuber notes, there appears to be someone in the upper window. The YouTuber says someone keeps poking their head in and out of the window, but the visual is not clear. Whatever it is, it's enough to keep them out of that mansion, at least for now. Zack from The Adventures of Zack and B is sure that a wild animal is in his attic. It's dark up there, so he takes the camera with him for light. The noise coming from his attic is unlike anything I've ever heard before. It sounds like a baleful combination of scratching, growling, and howling. Zack doesn't bother going any deeper and I really can't blame him. Unfortunately for him, it sounds like something follows him on the way out. Well, I don't see anything, so let's, uh, let's go ahead. Let's go ahead. Let's go ahead. Let's go ahead. An unseen voice says don't and I think it also says get out of here too. Obviously, this is a real human voice and not an animal after all, and whoever was making that noise remains a mystery. A YouTuber named Angelo Black gathers some friends and together they head to a local tunnel that's rumored to get more terrifying and dangerous the farther down you go. They begin their journey with the goal of going deeper than anyone has dared to before. Laughing and joking at first, but soon growing more serious as they huddle close, banding together against a gnawing, claustrophobic dread that nobody wants to be the first to acknowledge. Eventually, they find a lonely portion of pipe that is next to no graffiti and bravely keep going. After traveling a great distance, they're now staring down an even narrower passageway that feels wrong enough to make all of them stop. One of them asks who's there, and this wild growl comes from the darkness within. Come closer. Come closer. Who's there? 
Before they even have time to react, the camera person thinks the face is looking at them, which I don't see, but I do hear this faint moan shortly afterwards. It's definitely coming from up ahead. The moan soon changes into the same growl again, even louder this time, that I think might actually be a rusty old drain pipe letting loose. Still, I wouldn't take any chances by sticking around, especially not after I heard this. Their phone mysteriously stops recording at this point, and they get out of there fast. But whether it stopped recording because of a low battery or because of paranormal interference has never been verified. Thank you so much for getting me to 50,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Let's get to 60,000 subscribers next. Thank you.